afternoon, everyone. Today is September the 24th. This is the Salina City Community Commission meeting. Uh, would a clerk please call the roll? Mayor Jennings. Here. Commissioner Angel. Here. Commissioner Crawford. Here. Commissioner Householder. Here. Commissioner Shirley. Would those that are able please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> This is the part of our meeting for any citizens that are here that would like to address the commission to come forward and state their name and address, uh, making comments on anything that is not a part of today's agenda. Do we have any citizens here that would like to come forward today? Seeing none, we do not have any awards and proclamations. As well, we do not have any public hearings or items scheduled for a certain time. So that moves us to the consent agenda. Item 6.1, approve the minutes of September 17, 2012. Item 6.2, award a contract for the Friendship Center parking lot, project number 122924, to Davis Concrete Construction in the amount of $27,119.55, and APAC Kansas Incorporated in the amount of $28,587.75. Item 8.3, reject bids for the concrete pavement rehabilitation Project number 122902 and authorize staff to rebid the project in 2013. Item 6.4, resolution number 126936, accepting a donation from the Salina Soccer Club for a sculpture to be placed at the Salina Soccer Complex. Are there any uh, items that a commissioner would like to have pulled from the consent agenda? I just want to. Um say what a great idea 6.4 is keeping that soccer sculpture here in town and thanks to all those private donors and um, folks involved with the soccer complex and whatever the city folks did to make that happen what a great example of a public and private um, cooperation and working together for a great cause I agree with that. I'm sure we can't thank enough people that were a part of that, but I'd like to read just a brief bit of the background on that. The Salinas Soccer Club received a sculpture from private donors in the summer of 2012. The bronze and steel work by um, coming Georgia sculpture Gregory Johnson entitled Bring on the Heat uh, was on display downtown during the 2011-2012 sculpture tour. The work is to be dedicated uh, in honor of a friendship. Um, yeah. Between Chris Garlow and Scott Knox, Chris Garlow is now deceased, and the two grew up together playing soccer here in Salina. Uh, it's also meant to illustrate the friendship that occurs between many others who come together on the soccer field. So enough cannot be said uh, towards the appreciation. Um, of the partnership for doing this for the community. Do we have a motion for the consent agenda? So moved. Second. second. <laughs> we have two so moves and two so seconded <laughs> on the, improving the consent agenda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Today we have no development business, so that moves us into administration. Item 8.1, resolution number 126935, granting approval of an amended conditional use permit to Salina Regional Health Center, summarizing the City Commission's decision and findings. Mayor, I have a conflict. I need to recuse on this item. Thank you. So noted. Mr. Andrews, would you like to address anything on this item? Just by way of summary, um, you had your actual vote to a four to zero to approve the amended conditional use permit application that had been filed by Salina Regional Health Center. Legal counsel of Mr. Todd Luckman recommended uh, that you allow him time to go back and write those up into a form of a written order and chose a resolution as the means to do that. So a vote today on the resolution would summarize in written form uh, your decision 
from last Monday and also the findings and conclusions on which that decision was based. So if you think that accurately describes those items you discussed with Mr. Luckman, then approval of the resolution would be in order today. <coughs> Any questions for staff on this? My review seemed to show that the facts and findings as well as the recommendations that we discussed and uh, wanted included last week are completed in this action. Is there anybody from the community that wishes to speak on this? Seeing nothing, I bring it back to the commission for action. Uh, Mayor, I move that we adopt resolution 12-6935 and adopt the findings and conclusions in support of the City Commission's September 17, 2012 decision to approve application CU-03-2B by Salina Regional Health Center requesting approval of an amendment of the original conditional use permit for the hospice of Salina facility at 730 Holly Lane to allow the addition of office and clinical space for Viridian Behavioral Health to the hospice facility and the construction of uh, 33 additional parking spaces. Second. We have a uh, motion and a second to approve resolution number 12-6935. Uh, noting the facts and findings of the um, the last week's meeting and uh, all of those in favor please say aye aye, aye. those opposed that motion carries 3-0 does that um, action meet with the required um, number of city commissioners yes mayor thank you thank you this time we move on to item 8.2. Uh, Mayor, at this time, I move to recess new executive session for 40 minutes to discuss with legal counsel matters subject to the attorney client privilege. The reason that the public discussion of those matters would waive and privilege, uh, the privilege and adversely affect the city's interest in the matters and reconvene at uh, approximately four. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to add the person. Oh, I'm sorry for the purpose also of discussing matters pertaining to non-elected city personnel for the reason that public discussion of the matter would violate the privacy rights of the non-elected personnel involved and also to discuss confidential data relating to the financial affairs and trade secrets of a corporation for the reason that public discussion of that information would competitively disadvantage the corporation and reconvene at uh, basically like five o'clock. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries 4-0. We are now into executive session. We do anticipate at some point in time during our executive session that Commissioner Bob Shirley will join us.